seconds to uh, get my thoughts together. Oh, sorry. Uh, my name is Gordon. Uh, for those of you who don't know. Okay. Um, three, two, one. You get second. All right. So, uh, are we ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> okay. She just Here, great. So, believe it or not, salamanders are super important to the environment. And why is that? So, salamanders help control uh, insect pest populations down. They themselves also serve as really important food sources for a lot of predators. Um, salamanders also act to help regulate the carbon cycle. And last but not least, they serve as important indicators of water quality. Um, that said, in recent decades, salamanders in the Americas have suffered uh, tremendous declines. And this is due in no small part to this um, infectious fungus, puppet trigger kitchen dendrotitis, or BDE for short. <coughs> and so um, scientists have um, attempted to find out um, why BDE is super infectious. And but what we found out in recent years is that how BDE works is it latches onto the skin of the amphibian, attaches the skin outside here, hardens the skin of the amphibian, and causes it to drop dead. Uh, that said, this is not a universal trend. Not all amphibians and not all salamanders are equally susceptible to contracting the fungus, nor are they equally susceptible to dying from the fungus. Um, and why is that? Um, so we think that it is due in no small part because of environmental differences, as well as genetic differences between different species of salamander, meaning that some species of salamander are inherently more resistant to the fungus than other species of salamander. Um, but another underlooked factor that can potentially be really important for the different levels of susceptibility is because of behavioral differences, or as I like to call it, life history traits. Um, how can life history traits cause differences in susceptibility? Well, there are two main modes of transmission of the fungus. So one is skin skin contact between two individual salamanders, as you can see here. And another difference could be due to um, part of the fungal life stage in which it exists as an aquatic cell. Um, so aquatic um, cell swims in the water and it finds an aquatic amphibian and it will latch onto its skin and infect it similarly. Um, that said, my hypothesis is I believe that traits that increase the rate of contact between salamanders, such as uh, complex mating behaviors, as well as traits that impart a higher um, affinity for um, different um, aquatic life stages, could help uh, increase the likelihood of the salamander of contracting the fungus and dying. That's it.